It was the second week of school. It was first period and I had gym class. And I walked in with all my friends and while I was putting on my pants, I heard a man's voice. So I turned around and he's standing there on the opposite aisle looking at me. I glanced down and I could tell that he was wearing women's underwear and what was underneath it. When I knew that a man was looking at me, I felt very violated and very scared, especially looking at me while I'm getting dressed. The reason we have separate bathroom and locker room facilities is to provide an area for individuals to dress and undress outside of the presence of somebody of the opposite sex. Opening up restrooms and locker room facilities to members of the opposite sex is sexual harassment. Like most forms of sexual harassment, the girls in this school have little power over their situation. The school's only solution for my client was for her to wait outside the locker room until the individual of the opposite sex was finished changing. And then she went in and was late for gym class and also late for her second period class. The school's offered solution made it clear that they believed that my client was the problem. I think any father wouldn't want their child to be exposed to anything, especially at such a young age. My daughter does not consent to being seen by or to see someone of the opposite sex in her locker room. Women have fought long and hard for privacy rights under Title IX, for equality, for equal access and education. And now we are telling these girls that they no longer have a voice. The privacy rights of these girls don't change based on what a male believes about their gender. Their privacy rights belong to them, and it is the school's duty to protect those girls' privacy rights.